Well, around Kantishna, um, there, there's a lot of old mining properties or areas where um, first gold and various other things, including copper and antimony, have been mined. Several of these areas, like on Glen Creek and here at Slate Creek and up on Caribou, Upper Caribou Creek, the Park Service has been working over the past few years to restore kind of the natural ecosystems. Often that involves reducing the slope on tailing piles, encouraging revegetation. We call these mining land reclamation projects. The uh, history of this area is that it's placer gold mining in which even in the turn of the century things were being turned over pretty good in the stream area. Uh, even handwork uh, did a pretty good job of, uh, of uh, beginning a swath of, of destruction, shall we say, or, or at least a disturbance. And uh, into the uh, more recent times, especially given uh, heavy equipment, post-World War II, mining was pretty extensive in many of the streams in Kantishna. In the most recent period, large volume wash plants that could do uh, hundreds of yards per hour were brought in. That's why we got large conical tailing piles like this was. A lot of disturbance on a lot of material, barren and, and unvegetated. People, as they start to own and otherwise uh, uh, work on mining claims, bring in equipment of all different sorts. In this particular property, we've got a long, uh, tens of years of collection of uh, dozers and wash plants and generators, uh, large uh, metallic objects, trailer houses brought in to house workers, and uh, uh, just lots of scrap steel and, and other, th other things that you almost even can't imagine. I'd have to say the estimate of the waste brought out here on this, actually the, the equipment, somewhere in the range of 200,000 pounds. The rail car alone was 30,000 pounds. You've got some uh, basic house trailers and things they lived in. We actually demolished their A-frame on the top of the hill. Old generators, light plants, just about everything you'd need for a mining operation. We've been concerned for a while with some of the stream course here. The, uh, the uh, water flow in Glen Creek here and many places in Kantishna fluctuates greatly over a, a year's period. We have a very uh, active stream channel that was once fairly stable and then once mining took over it kind of uh, destabilized it. So our goal is to reestablish the stream in as close to a stable condition as we can, which means we design and reconfigure the, uh, the stream channel itself. We reinforce the uh, banks so that they don't uh, get eroded out and, and uh, and create a, a new uh, active gravel surface area that won't revegetate and in, in a sense just uh, uh, hurry or move along mother nature a little faster to keep a stable enough environment that plant growth will come back and reinvade the area and it'll be somewhat like we think it was before mining occurred. <laughs>